Your forecast now with meteorologist Todd Clausen. Hey, Mark. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're dealing with lots of clouds around there this morning, but visibility is good as you look live from downtown to the north. Temperatures at 24 degrees, so certainly a chill in the air and the winds out of the west northwest at five miles per hour. So the winds are down quite a bit from where they were yesterday when they were gusting over 20 miles per hour. So that is certainly good news. And temperatures this morning within a couple degrees of each other anywhere you go. 25 in Peru as well as Bloomington. 25 also the current temperature in Muncie. And here's the big picture across the Midwest. And you notice it's in the teens and 20s as you work your way from uh, Chicago uh, back towards Des Moines. 30s down to our south and off to our east. So no matter which direction the wind's coming from, north, south, east, or west, it's not going to transport any warmer air in here. So we're in for another pretty cold day across the area with high temperatures, uh, most likely failing to get above freezing in most locations. Now, clouds, they are certainly in place this morning. What you do not see on the satellite radar picture here is a little bit of a very, very fine light snow. And I can report as I drove into work that we were, a, I, I did see a little bit of light snow. Beth saw a little bit on her way into work as well and did put down a little bit of a coating on the roadways, uh, but nothing substantial. But uh, if you do see some of the snow covered roadways, give yourself just a little bit of extra time. But there's a lot of moisture off to our south and to our west. Heavy rain moving through Tennessee. We have snow moving through northern Missouri. Uh, but what's going to happen is this rain is just going to move off towards the east and it's not really going to affect us. And the bulk of this snow is going to pass off to our north and we just kind of find ourselves here in Indiana right in the middle. And so we will likely see a few snow showers throughout the course of the afternoon hours, uh, but we are not expecting any significant accumulation, but if you do get caught in some of these snow showers as they start to come in this afternoon, it's not of the question there could be a quick coating on the roadways and could slicken them up in spots. Uh, so just be aware of that. But again, it's going to be pretty scattered in nature, and the best chance of these snow showers will likely be from Interstate 70 to the south. And then as you look to the north, as we head into the evening hours, uh, we're just back to cloudy skies. So here are your weather headlines uh, for the day today. The clouds will hold tough all day long. The snow showers will be possible, and again. A quick coating is possible in spots. So highs today only reached the 20s from Tipton to Lafayette to Logansport, uh, well below the normal high of 38 degrees, 30 in Richmond, and about 33 in Bedford, 31 in Bloomington, and highs will top off only right around 30 degrees here in the metro area with the cloudy skies and the snow showers. And then as we look ahead to tomorrow, it's another chilly day with highs barely getting above freezing, but I do think we work some sunshine into the forecast on Friday. But as we get into Saturday, some light snow is possible in southern locations and as we get into next week rain will develop Monday night and into Tuesday and it becomes pretty windy on Tuesday as well with a high of 43 then as we transition to the colder air on Wednesday some of that rain changes over to snow with some accumulation possible too early to talk about amounts uh, but just be aware of that as you make your holiday travel plans and speaking